Percussion. <laughs> Palpating the liver. Now I know from percussion that his liver edge is at the inner, uh, that's at the right costal margin. So I'm going to start my palpation to level the umbilicus and move my way up. If he had hepatomegaly, I would start lower than that. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in and let it out. Okay, one more time. So I did that, and as I, as he inhaled, I pressed inward and upward to see if I could feel the costal margin. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, liver edge. I cannot. I'm too low still. So I'm going to move up a little bit and do it again. Deep breath again. Still can't feel, feel the liver edge. Okay, moving up a little bit. More time. Now I can feel the liver edge. I feel firmness underneath my fingertips. As I feel the firmness, it's nice and smooth. There's no nodules. Do you have any tenderness? Okay. So that's good. No tenderness, no nodules, nice and smooth. The other way is the hooking technique, <laughs> where now I'm facing his feet, and I'm going to hook my fingers underneath his rib cage. ask him to take a deep breath, and the same thing, feeling for any nodules or tenderness. Can you feel it? I, yeah. Oh, yeah. And most of the time you could feel it better this way, but it is okay. Palpating the spleen. I'm sorry, when I did that, I'm supposed to be lifting up this way. So. Auto fail. Okay. <laughs> Palpating the spleen. Wrapping my non dominant hand around his left flank, bringing it up closer, so I'm lifting up with my dominant hand. I'm going underneath the costal margin, asking my patient to take a deep breath. Feeling for the firmness of what would be the spleen. I don't feel it. I'm going to move outward just a little bit. Try it again. I still don't feel it, which is good. He doesn't have splenomegaly. Excellent. Next, I'm going to do the kidney capture, which <laughs> you guys do not have to do, but I will demonstrate the kidney capture. You volunteer. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Left hand underneath the right flank, lifting up. Right hand parallel to the erectus abdominis muscle. I'm going to ask my patient to take a deep breath in. As he does that, I am going to squeeze down, trying to capture the kidney in between my hands. Okay. <laughs> Capturing the kidney. Then I'm going to ask my patient to exhale. Exhale halfway. And as he does that, I'm going to lift up slightly to see if, as he exhales, the kidney travels <laughs> from in between my fingers. And then I let go all the way. Okay, so one more time. <laughs> and exhale. And that's it. I don't feel it. on the other side. <laughs> and if you had to do the other side, I would walk around and do the other side. Now I'm going to ask my patient to stand, to sit up with your legs this way. I'm around the back of my patient. Cost over table, angle tenderness. You're going to feel two taps on either side. I want you to tell me if you have any tenderness. Cost over table, angle. Hand right there. No tenderness. Other side. <laughs> okay. So it was a light one and a firm one. Light one and a firm one. Okay. And the final part, I would do the appropriate rectal and. and <laughs> 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 <laughs>